hey guys welcome back to our channel in this video we are learning data handling so i have created data handling activities so we have chosen the topic car he's very fond of cars so i thought why not to do some activities with his toy cars so here we have different varieties of cars by keeping these cars i have created simple hands-on activities to learn what is data handling let me explain you what is data handling so here I have created this simple anchor chart to learn what is data handling. So data handling, data means information, so observing, then gathering information which is collect simple data, then recording simple data or information using numbers and pictures, then presenting information in a way which is helpful to others, for instance in graphs and charts, and then interpret data represented in numbers and pictures. So I am going to place this on his learning area. So here he is grouping, sorting all his cars based on colors. Now he is done with sorting and grouping. Then we are going to gather information like how many orange cars, purple, green, yellow, blue, pink, black, red, white, gray cars are there. So here he is writing ones and tens. So here I have given like number of orange car, number of purple car, number of green car, number of yellow car. So he has to count the number of cars, number of orange cars and write it over here. Number of green cars. Number of blue car 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Gray car Total number of cars 2 plus 2, 4 4 plus 5, 9 9 plus 4, 13 13 plus 6, 19 19 plus 1, 20. 20 plus 4, 24. 24 plus 6, 30. 30 plus 2, 32. Plus 10, 42. Good job, yes. There are many types of data handling. So these are different graphs and charts. I am introducing bar graph, pictograph, pie chart, line plot, tally marks to him. Here he has recorded how many number of each cars and then total number of cars and numbers. So here I am slowly introducing bar graph to my child and he is using this to record the collected information. Bar graph uses bars to show a picture of the data collected. So here he is recording number of orange cars, purple, green, yellow, blue, pink, black, red, white and grey. So number of orange car is 2 so he has color 2 grids and then for purple 2 and then green 5, yellow 4, blue 6 and so on. So now we are done with this bar graph and then here I have created this pictograph. So pictograph share information in symbol form. So you can use star, circle or any symbol to represent how many cars in each color. Here he is using circles to represent the data. This is one of the easiest way to represent data. Now we are done with pictograph. Then we are moving to pie chart. So pie chart is a circular graph which is divided into slices to represent values of different size. In pie chart, the arc length of each slice is proportional to the quantity it represents. Pie chart are good for displaying data for around 6 categories and fewer. But here I have used 10 categories to show him how is pie chart used. So for orange it shows 2 so he is taking the orange color crayon and then coloring the 2 slices. And for purple it shows 2 so he is using purple to color. 2 slices in pie chart. For green it shows 5 so he is coloring 5 slices. So this is how you represent the data in pie chart. Then we move on to tally marks. Tally marks are a quick way of keeping track of number and group of 5. One vertical line is made for each of the first 4 numbers. 
the fifth number is represented by a diagonal line across the previous four. So this is how you have to use the tally marks. Then move on to the line plot. So line plot is a graph that displays data using a number line. To create a line plot, first create a number line that includes all the values in the data set. Where here I have included all the colors like orange, purple, green, yellow and so on. And then mark or place X above each data value on the number line. So here he is marking X to represent the data. And then he is going to record this data which is more so here i have created this where he is going to identify which is more so this is actually orange car and this is gray car so compare these two and you have to tick which is more if gray is more you have to tick gray if orange is more you have to tick orange if both are equal you have to mark equal sign and then compare these two and then tick which is more either gray or white and then here either purple or green red and black white and yellow green and white pink and gray yellow and pink then blue and gray so you have to compare and then find which is more let's see how he works on this activity so here i used paragraph to compare and contrast the data to find out which is more you can also use line plot tally marks and then pie chart or any other graph to find which is more. If you like this video, please give thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next week. Bye bye.